Here's meteorologist James Gilbert. Coldest air of the season so far outside. 34 degrees. That's in downtown Rochester. Walworth just dropped below freezing at 31. Plenty of pockets of um, areas, towns, seeing numbers like this. Haven't seen any 20s yet, uh, but you get the idea. Maybe some frost even on the windshield as you head out the door if you park outside anyways. You look up Lake Ontario, Greece. What's going on here? 46 degrees. Uh, check out uh, Charlotte, 50 degrees. Lake Ontario, you can thank for those warm temperatures. Shoreline communities getting uh, uh, nice uh, breeze maybe even off the water and uh, allowing for those temperatures to stay uh, certainly on the mild side. Everybody climbs up into the upper 50s. Clear skies out there now. We'll have clear skies really through much of the day. A sunglasses worthy day certainly maybe heading over to the playground this afternoon. Clouds start to increase though as we get through this evening. Wind direction changes ahead of a large storm system bringing some severe weather to the south. For us we get rain out of it certainly over the next couple days. There it is. Not quite organized yet, but it should really start to ramp up as we get into uh, this afternoon and this evening. So watch it develop as uh, that low pressure system. You can kind of see that swirl right over Arkansas. It's going to work its way into the mid-Atlantic and then move northward into western New York. Really, it's going to move right overhead for Saturday and into Sunday. We can time it out for you here on the Futurecast. Love the afternoon. You see the wind direction start to shift a little bit more out of the southeast. And that's going to help boost the moisture so that will increase the cloud coverage. We're dry this time tomorrow morning. I think a lot of Friday is dry uh, for the kids um, getting off the bus. I think even by Friday afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock, we're dry. Rain starts to push in by dinner time and then through the evening. If we got Friday night plans, maybe the early Halloween party, it's going to be wet. Rain showers likely through the overnight and then into Saturday. Now that we're getting closer to the weekend, we have a better idea of exactly how the rain is going to shape up for both Saturday and Sunday. Let's get into it. Saturday morning, still dealing with a couple of downpours that move through, but as the storm system moves just through New York State, we start to lose in on that lift by the afternoon. So we'll call it just off and on rain showers for Saturday afternoon, then go to isolated as we get into Sunday. That's good, right? Good for trick or treating. I expect uh, a dry but cloudy afternoon and evening for Sunday. Temperatures hanging out right there in the low 50s. Seasonal, not too bad. There's your eight day forecast, certainly turning cooler as we get into the first couple of days of November. But uh, I definitely remember as a kid uh, running around Brighton in my uh, dinosaur costume that my mom made with a pair.